Yes. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the third episode of the revamped Korean Cowboys podcast. We're already on episode three. Yep. We oh are on episode three now. God. Oh, Woo-hoo. my God. Hope you guys are liking it. You know, we're trying to, we, you know, trying to mix it up and we're still learning a little bit, you know, yep. trying to get through the uh, ins and outs of this new podcast. Real deal podcast thing we got going on. How was your week, Aaron? What's been going on? What's the tea? Spell it. Let's go. My week, uh, as most of you guys know, I did my MC thing at Arirang TV for After mm-hmm. School Club and uh, spent like a day editing the second episode um, and then just meetings here and there mm-hmm. for my fan camp and yeah, just not much, honestly. <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that, honestly? Um, what so about you? Not playing games, actually. Usually we play games together all the time, right? Uh, right, this week I was a little busy, yeah. And you so were, were you. busy. I was busy too. So yeah. my cousin, Jian, Jian Inuna. Annyeonghaseyo. She follows our podcast uh, Instagram. Oh, but really? Anyway, she came to Korea, so we I was showing her around Seoul, you know. Um, and she she well she's from Korea, but she's normally from Incheon. But uh, anyway, she came and Incheon. Uh, yeah, I was I was getting my ass beat walking around this whole damn city. So I realized that when you live here, right? You actually don't go and look at the things that you would if you were on vacation, right? Yeah. But Aaron, how many of these things have you been to? I'm going to list them off. Have you been to uh, uh, Gyeongbokgung? Yes. The actual palace? Yes. Okay, that's the Royal Korean Palace, for those of you guys don't know. Uh, Cheonggyecheon? Yes. Okay, you've been there? Yes. Uh, where else? Namsan Tower? Yes. Okay. Uh, where else did I go? Myeongdong? Yes. Okay, you've been to all these places. Okay, so this is the thing, right? These are all like <laughs> Korean touristy places, right? But like, and I've been there, but like, if you live here, you don't go to places like that. Right, you don't go like on like like a weekly basis. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like maybe once a year. Not even once a year. I don't. Yeah. I can't even tell you the last time that I've been to Gyeongbokgung. Or Actually, you're right. Probably Chung-Gi-Chun like those or... places. Like I've been there maybe like two, three times the whole time mm-hmm. I've been living in Korea. So you're probably right. Yeah. Well, I went to all those places in one day, and I was I had my step counter up thirty thousand steps okay you know what i'm saying so i was getting my ass kicked my my, my calves are still actually very sore right yeah now. you walk in the studio and you're like oh my ass is so sore mm. my calves hurt. I, I i was in my car driving up to the studio right and i was like man even pushing the gas and the brakes is like hurting my calves <laughs> it was terrible anyway so I gotta, tell, I gotta tell you a story so i was uh eating food right it was mm-hmm. kind of like a mutt jeep or like a really famous place, mm-hmm. famous restaurant anyway, with my cousin. And I've seen some, some, some people vlogging. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Vlogging in the restaurant. And I don't know why, but it like really bothered me, like bad. Of course. Because I felt uncomfortable. I'm like, okay, am I coming out in the background of this video? Like, you know, and they're, you know, like all the overreactions and all that stuff. Like, I'm just, it's just not into it, right? Yeah. Um, or even like if you are vlogging, just walking around doing the day to day. To me, I understand that that's kind of like what YouTube is nowadays, right? Right. But I just, I can't get behind it when you have like people that don't really consent to have their face all over your YouTube in the background. Now, if you're a really good vlogger, you'll mosaic these people or blur it out, but not many people do that. They just kind of, yeah. you know what I mean? So anyway, uh, have you ever been in a situation where, where you, you, you have been around a blogger? Probably I, not, actually, I would imagine. I mean, like, maybe, like, when I'm outside, like, drinking with friends or something, and then mm-hmm. I'll just see someone, like, vlogging. Really? Yeah. At a surt jeep? I see, like, like, once or twice, probably. Really? But the thing is, I make a conscious effort to just either leave, mm-hmm. like, the, the, the their lens, so I'm not, I'm not in their shot, or mm-hmm. I'll just leave the surt jeep in general and just go somewhere else and drink. Mm. But, yeah, that, that that is very, like, kind of, I don't want to say an asshole move, but... Mm-hmm. You should definitely be getting people's consent if you're going to have them in your vlog. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like you said, that's what YouTube has become, right? Right. Which honestly, it's kind of like, eh, for me as well. Mm. Which is honestly why part of the reason why I don't vlog either is, it's just, I, I just don't want to be a burden to other people around me. Right. And also it's, and if you, if you notice, even if I do vlog, I make sure that it's only me coming out. You right. know what I mean? They should, they should take a, con- they should take the conscious effort to, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Maybe film somewhere where there aren't that many people. Right. Or, you know, film in a corner where, you you know, there aren't other people in the background. But not a lot of people care about that these days. Right. I mean, like, so I don't know what to do with my YouTube channel. I'm not going to lie to you. I did vlogging for a while on my YouTube. Like, when I went to the States or, you know, something like that. Yeah, to your like parents' that. house. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay, right? Because it's just my parents. <laughs> and I ask them beforehand if I can and blah, 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 blah. And I get so many people come up to me and they're like, like, why don't you vlog? Like, you know, 
your day to day life. The answer, I don't do anything. Yeah. Like there's nothing to vlog. You know what I mean? Now give me spitting all over. But <laughs> I'm very passionate about this. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, people also have to realize too is that the vloggers, like mm -hmm. vlogs that you see on YouTube, a lot of that is fabricated. No one lives their lives like that. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure there are people that do, but mm -hmm. I would say like maybe 10% of the people that actually like upload their vlogs actually live that mm -hmm. life. You know what I right. mean? It's not a day to day daily basis thing that they do. You know what I mean? Right. For example, I, I, I just shot this vlog, right, for um, this brand that I was working with uh, on their YouTube channel. And they're like, oh, like, what can we do to make it interesting? And it was like a day in the life of me going to work and doing all my stuff, right? I went to, like, I did, like, radio. I went and got, like, skincare and, like, you know, all this stuff. And uh, I don't ever do that. <laughs> yeah. Like, ever. Who does You know that? what I mean? Um, so there's not, I don't know. You might know this person. But anyway, there was this one friend that I had that... You had past tense. Yeah, had as in like I don't really talk to this person anymore. Okay, but they used to bring that the little camera, like a little camera that you know you put it in front of yourself when you. It's like it looks like a spot, like, like a small square, and it folds up. Oh yeah, like okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I mean, uh, they brought this camera to all of these fun every time we every time oh, we met up, and a lot of the times there would be there would be. Um, you know, people in the public life, celebrities, you mm -hmm. know, there. And I just found it so mm -hmm. uncomfortable because look, I'm by no means super famous or anything like that. But some of the people at these places are. And this person would not get permission from any of us. Just kind of like roll it. I it, feel like I know what you're talking about. Anyways. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I'll ask you behind the scene. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm okay. not trying to like, you know what I mean? Like, not just shade anyone. This so. person's not a bad person. <laughs> it was just very inappropriate considering yeah. the circumstances. Anyway. So I see that camera. And listen, when I'm with my friends, I curse like a like a sailor. Like yeah. I'm I'm very I got a potty mouth. You know yep. what I mean? Not that like there's anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm with my friends. You yeah, know, yeah, just how I am. Everyone cusses. Yeah. So um yeah, cuss for us right now. Come on. Right. You did it last time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> whatever. So I find myself very uncomfortable. I'm like, but I'm also like I feel weird because I'm too nice. I'm so nice, you know. So I'm, I can't be like I can't <laughs> okay. be like. Can you turn that off? Like, it's uncomfortable, blah, 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 I just made a conscious effort not to hang out with this person anymore because I was like, this is just too much for me. Right. I don't like it, you know. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly against vlogging unless you are doing it yourself. I'm losing my train of thought here because I'm so I'm visibly shaken with rage. I mean, unless you're doing it yourself or you get mm. the consent of others to film, yeah. you know what I mean? I want your permission from every <laughs> single person that you run into. Because that is, mm -hmm. like, it, that is, like, a very, like, it's a privacy issue, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. If you, if you don't get the consent of others and you're just filming them, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, they can put... I, can they sue you? I don't know, actually. I mean, because I know that normally normally when you do shows or, like, you know, actual TV, you need to sign a consent form right. saying that they won't sue you and that they have the right to use your likeness or whatever. Right, or they, like, but, they'll, like, mosaic But with them vlogging out. is not... Yeah, you can mosaic it, yeah. So yeah. It doesn't work. Uh, it works that way, you know. I watched this one show. Sorry, this is, like, a little bit of a tangent. I watched this one show. The people getting caught at the airport, like you're smuggling drugs, or like you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, and they, they, the, the the TSA people catch them, and they made a TV show out of it. It's kind of like cops. Okay. Okay. But anyway, I'm always like, I'm always like, how do they get these people's permission to use their their likeness on these shows? Because I'm sure anybody that gets caught, you know, donking yeah. drugs through the airport. But anyway, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, you need permission. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Let me scroll that. Yeah, but vlogging, yeah, I think it's like it's like a huge issue nowadays, especially with the younger generation, because you know we have like. Like, social media is so well-built nowadays, mm -hmm. and it's so integrated into today's society. Like, even the younger, like, especially the younger generation, mm -hmm. they're all about YouTube. They're all about mm -hmm. TikTok. They're all about Instagram. They all want to be influencers and vloggers. You know what I mean? I. This is funny, because when we were little, people always say, oh, when you grow up, what do you want to be? And I'm like, I'm not, I want to be an astronaut, or I want to be a <laughs> firefighter. Is or that what, what you sounded like? I think we all sound I mean, that you way. You still kind of sound like that, but anyways. What do you mean? I don't sound like that. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So like that's what now they want to be. I want to be a TikToker. I want to be a whatever YouTuber. Yeah. I want to be like a whatever, whatever, whatever. You know this this sort of thing. Mm -mm. What happened to like people wanting real, you know, real a real deal career? You know what I mean? Yeah. You're gonna be ninety and you're gonna be vlogging. Yeah. I mean, but today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna make cherry pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fun. Yeah. I mean, I, I think just the fact that you can make. If if you do do well on those platforms, you can make a lot of money. I think oh, that's yeah. what appeals to a lot of people. Now, 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 mind you, nothing wrong with YouTube because of course we 
We are also on, on YouTube, YouTube right? right now. So yes. <laughs> if you're watching this, uh, yeah, there's another mom with that. Yes. But I'm just saying. We're also you know, not lazy because I mean, we also edit and everything. Yeah, but th this is a lot of work, people. You know, like <laughs> we put in a lot of hours. So um, yeah. Yeah, but I, I I don't think vlogging is gonna like disappear anytime no, soon. Me around. You know what I mean? I think I think if anything, it, it's gonna become even more prevalent in society. Mm, not agree. At least until social media disappears. Mm -hmm. It'll never. That may be. It'll never. I miss pre-social media. Me too, dude. You know what? I, I, miss remember, like, I miss like up to Facebook. I was okay with it. I'm from a generation, right? With social media. What, didn't we do a social media episode? Yeah. Yeah, check that out. But anyway, <laughs> there'll probably be a link at the end of the episode. I don't know. But um, I, I'm from Zanga. You know what that is? Yeah. I'm from Zanga. Oh my I'm God. from uh, MySpace. You know what I mean? My yes. top 10. I have my background with Jack Skellington the whole nine. It was great. AIM, mm -hmm. AOL and uh, Messenger. That was just MSN Messenger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Facebook before it was covered in Farmville and political stuff. Uh, yeah. I also, I think up until about, I remember Tumblr. I was big on Tumblr. Oh my God, Tumblr. Jesus. I was big on Tumblr. Oh I was so God. edgy. Like, you know what I mean? I was posting some edgy stuff. Or what do you call that? You repost it? I don't remember. It's been a long time. Wow, Tumblr. I haven't mm -hmm. heard that in a while. Mm -hmm. Tumblr? Jesus. Yeah. Well, anyway, I, I miss I miss all that stuff uh, before all of this. Yeah. Because mm. everything is so readily available, like, on your phone mm -hmm. now. It's just, eh. We're really aging ourselves right now, Aaron. This is bad. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the world does evolve, and, you know, like, society does evolve, too. But, I mean. When you're a professor? It's well, just yes, uh, the uh, the the world is evolving in a social may. Yeah, I mean technology is like advancing so fast nowadays. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think it's going down the right path, but that's just, again my personal opinion. I mean, I like it, but it's just like you know, I people, like it's, it's all the people care about now. Yeah, that's like, that's the mm -hmm. issue. <gasps> Have you seen those those vlogs? The ones that do um, what do you call it? Plastic surgery, uh, tourist a uh, tourism. Tourism, plastic surgery tourism? Ink for Korea? Yeah, yeah, a lot of people do that. Really? They're from other countries, and they're like, okay, well, I'm going to Korea. To get plastic surgery? To get this, that, and the third, right? Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, so um, I've watched some of these, and they, they, they do the before and the right after video. You know yeah, 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 or like before and after videos, yeah, yeah. Why in the world would you want to show the world what your face looks like Literally right after getting your nose done or your cheekbone shaved or your oh, your God. your jaw chopped up and you know all that stuff. Oh God! Listen, okay. What do you think about plastic surgery? First of all, me. I mean, if you want to get it, that's all you. I I just would never like touch my face. Um, have you never touched your face? No. Tell them right now. Look at the camera and say, I've never done plastic surgery. I've never done plastic surgery. I've never gotten Botox. Mm -hmm. I've never I've never done anything to my face. I've gone to like. Like skin cl clinics and gotten you know like like skincare, but I mean that's the most F A K E fake. Mm -mm. What about you, Joel? What have you? <laughs> Zoom in on me right now. I have never done plastic surgery. Have you had any work done though? I get Botox. Okay. In and... my forehead mm -hmm. and my chin sometimes. Not mm -hmm. my chin. My what is this th this thing? Mm -hmm. And I get lasers for the skin mm -hmm. because I don't have the best skin in the world. Even though it looks like it right now, thanks to our PD. Thank you. Yes. Uh, but anyway. Whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> Aaron's going to be like, oh, you did something crazy. Like you, you know, got your hairline fixed. I did. V. Huh? V. V. Oh, I didn't turn my sound off. Whoops. Look how unprofessional Aaron is. Might be. V. V. E. V. E. N. E. E. R. Oh, veneers. No, these aren't veneers. What are the what are, These what? are braces, baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. These are veneers in Aaron's mind only. I mean, okay, whatever you say, whatever mm -hmm. you say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got the braces. But anyway, <laughs> we're not talking about me. We're talking about just plastic <laughs> surgery in general, which I have not done. Uh, <laughs> um, I did have quite the glow up from 16 to whatever I am now. What yeah. am I? Like 30 I've something. I've seen photos. Woo. Mm -hmm. Let me no, tell you guys. Oh, Jesus God. Christ. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, if you guys... No Korea. A lot of people come here for plastic surgery. A lot. Yeah, Korea is like well known for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have a lot of people that come from, from what I know, China. China. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know about Japan. Southeast Asia, a lot of people come to. Yeah, Southeast Asia. I know some people countries. that come from America. Yeah. To get you know, chopped and screwed. Yeah, you know? it's pretty crazy because like you can, you can just go out and you'll see like one or two people with like just bandages all over. Their face, oh, that's like, okay. Th this really bothers me. Uh, <laughs> this really. I live. In Gangnam, right? 
And I live near Shinsa, where there's tons and tons and tons of uh, plastic surgery, plastic plans, surgery yeah. uh, places. And you will see people that look like they got mauled by a bear, literally. Yeah. With their faces, like their faces look like like swollen, they, 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 corpse-like almost. They look like and mummies. they just walk around outside yeah. like it's no big deal. Isn't first of all, isn't that uncomfortable? Are you not in serious pain? Because there's like literally, I see like dried blood under their eyes and stuff, and I'm yeah. like, how can you walk around looking like that? I understand you want to go and look around and you know see things, but you got to be kidding me with that. I mean, teach their own. You know what I, I mean? mean? Listen, I'm not judging you for I mean, getting if you had, plastic if you had, surgery. If you had the confidence to walk around with like bandages all over your face and like bleeding, like, no. I mean, I listen. Mean, I, like I said, you, I'm not judging you for getting plastic surgery. I'm judging you for walking around looking like that. Yeah, <laughs> there, there are like a lot of people mm-hmm. that just like they'll look like straight up like zombies, like not zombies, mummies. Yeah, you know what I mean, like it's crazy. I'm like, girl, you need to take aspirin, and lay down. That ain't, this ain't it. Yeah. Uh-uh. It's, Plastic surgery is like a huge thing in Korea, though. You're yeah. looking a little too wild, you know. Yeah. I, I just, me personally, I just wouldn't ever touch my face. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I could ever do anything like that. Especially because like, there's some things that are trendy, right? Like in the 2010s, there was a big plastic surgery trend where you would make under your eyes. Like, it goes high. Oh, yeah, yeah, Where yeah. Where they yeah. used to inject things under your eyes. Like fat under... To, like- make your, to make your eyes look super puffy. Like, it was a trendy thing back then. Yeah. And then, uh, as far as I know, I don't think you can completely reverse it. So, like, people that got it... It's not trendy anymore. It's actually trendy to not have that now. Okay. You know, so, like, you know, these people, you, you get stuck with it. And I don't know. I, I, for me, it's like getting a tattoo for me. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with tattoos. I think it's totally cool. But I, I, I don't think I could do it to myself. Yeah. Because, what do you mean? Yeah, you have a whole bunch of tattoos. Well, not tattoos. <laughs> I'm, ta- I'm talking about, like, just, like, shots and injections like that. Mm-hmm. Ugh, God. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, it's to get something out. so permanent for me is just, like, scary. You know what I mean? Why not, bro? I think you're going to get a Korean Cowboys tattoo, bro. I never said. You, you know what? I was, okay. This is not <laughs> plastic surgery, but I am so glad that i did not get a tattoo with my idol group's name i seriously we all seriously considered <laughs> were, you, were you debating it i was oh my god i am so so glad that i did not oh because my god. oh my god because you know how many times it take how many times you have to do lasers to get rid of tattoos yeah so you have to do it like 15 times and it hurts yep and it doesn't it's also it's never completely gone mm-hmm. yeah my body is a temple and ink is not invited. You know what god. I mean? <laughs> Imagine if you had a BTL tattoo. That would oh my hilarious. god, that would have been awful. Oh. Oh my god. I'm so 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 glad. Like that. Back then, I was. St- you know, it was like it was like. You know when you fall in love, and you're like, you got the honeymoon phase. Yeah, yeah. I had yeah. the honeymoon phase with my group, and then after that, a while, I was like, I was like, damn, this kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? There's what just mean? some people that like. They might be nice, mm-hmm. but I just can't be friends with them. Ooh, <laughs> oh, oh, this, week. <laughs> this is the next topic we're going to talk about. Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, oh, yeah. So funny. like, like you know, some of my, my, my group members, right? There's just some people that I just cannot be friends with. Right. Mm-hmm. They're nice people. Right. I, th- I think. So like, what do, what do you think it is? Because you're saying they're nice people, but you just can't be friends with them. What, what do you think the reasoning behind that is? Oh, God. Let me get comfortable. <laughs> all right. Well. First of all, is it like have you guys had arguments? That, oh like, God, are you kidding me? I used to fist fight with some of them, but um, there's just I you know you know they say in Korean they say like 그냥 성격 안 맞아, like a personality yeah. different. Yeah, they could be nice people, right? But it's just like 성격 안 맞아. Yeah, like, I I, just, I I do I do agree with that mm-hmm. statement though. Not necessarily with your group members, but like just people in general. Yeah, there's people right. You can't be friends with everybody, and if you are, I this is my this is my interpretation. If you're if you try to be friends with everybody. And you think everybody's your friend. You make an effort to be friends with everybody. That means you a thick ass bitch. That's true. Mm-hmm. Because that I means agree. you're you're machoing. You're you're trying to match with every single person. That's not really who you are. Yep. There's one person that I know that Aaron also knows that I can't fucking stand. <laughs> I, I I I hate this. I literally have vile disdain for this person. Oh my anyway, god. Anyway, there's very there's my, the list of people that I really really dislike on that level is on. I can count them on one hand. <laughs> Honestly, I, I know like two of them. At and least. that person. Takes up two fingers. I'm not even kidding you. Anyway, but yeah, that is an example of a person that I cannot stand. <laughs> a fake ass hoe. And it's not a girl. It's a fake ass B. Yeah. <laughs> and I, 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 I could probably do a whole episode on this person and why I dislike them. But we're going to keep it cute and we're going to keep it short. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. So 
Yeah, there's just some people. The one important thing for me is I don't want a fake ass bitch as a friend. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> and then I, and then I also, <laughs> I also hate uh, people that cannot vibe with me on the same comedic chord. Yes. You see what I'm saying? That's really, really important to me. You, you bring up a very valid point for mm-hmm. me as well. It's our gag chords, like our like our humor mm-hmm. has to match, or else I ca- I cannot be friends with you. That's why me and Aaron are like this because. We the, both joke some, around like that. We some dirty ass senses of humor. Yeah. But. Not to say that we have really, really offensive uh, senses of humor, but we take everything in stride, you know? Like, like you said, like someone can be really nice, but if they and I, if, we, if I can't have a conversation with this person mm-hmm. one-on-one, then it's like, okay, I can't really be friends with this person. You right. know what I mean? It's, yeah. I have a list, right? I have a list of people. And if for some reason we end up hanging out, I, tr- I cross that person up, I'm like, all right. That's as much as I can take for this year. See you next year. You know what I mean? I, I, I just I just can't. It's, it's like literally work for me. Yeah. And there are also friends that you have to see in like small increments, right? You can't, mm-hmm. you can't see them like on a daily basis or like a weekly basis. Right, 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 right. That's but, why, that's why I, only, I only come to the studio once a week. I don't see Aaron otherwise. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We How see I, each other on a, on a weekend. Yeah, we, 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 <laughs> play, we play PUBG. <laughs> and other games together all the time, or but um, carry him, but mm-hmm. yeah. Anyway, uh, so take away from this is is that you need to have the right chord with me. Like, if you're gonna be like, <laughs> uh, knock knock, uh, who's there, uh, duty head? Oh, that's poopy. Like that kind of joke. You know what I mean? Like, it's not doesn't <laughs> work for that? me. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I'm, I just you know I just I literally just rolled off my tongue. I just made that up as I was saying it. I don't oh know. God. But um, yeah, people that make you know people that got a joke like that. I'm like, what are we in kindergarten? Yeah, I mean, there are mm-hmm. people that are nice, but just whether it be like the humor core doesn't match or whether it be like just maybe we don't just don't have any hobbies in common. I think mm-hmm. ho- having having hobbies. hobbies in common is a big thing as well. You and I don't really have that many hobbies in common except for gaming. Well, gaming, podcasting. Mm-hmm. Um, this isn't a hobby. Hu- like I said, this humor is a passion. Humor. Humor, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. comedy. We love comedy. Mm-hmm. I used to really like drinking. I really did. But these days, I've kind of I've been I've been kicked out of the crew, the boys. You know, I've been kicked out, so I'm no longer involved in that. But no, we invite you. Did you never come out? I wasn't kicked out. I left voluntarily. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just but, Joel can't hang anymore. He's getting too old. I really you know can't. I mean? Honestly, I I had a drink like after a long time. I think was it yesterday? Oh my god! I thought I was gonna die. I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> What'd I, you I, drink? I, I had uh, whiskey. Ooh. It was just I couldn't I couldn't do it. Like I was like. You're just getting old, bro. I, I, was, I, was, I was getting shakes in the legs. I was, <laughs> I was, I was sweating. I had hot flashes. It was oh, insane. God. Yeah, I know. Anyway, we're going to come back with the next portion of the Korean Cowboys podcast. You ready? Yep. Take it away. Here we go. <laughs> Dude, we should just make this like our thing. Here we go. No, we shouldn't. What do you mean? What the hell are you talking about? You're the one that said it. Here we go. Are we still filming? Is it anyways, still go going? Are we still going? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right, little boy. So Here uh, we are. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, little Joel so, boy, what kind of videos have you prepared? All right, for this so week? you know we have our little viral corner, and uh, I brought a few things to make Aaron laugh, hopefully, um, or maybe make him cry. But uh, it depends on what. But anyway, <coughs> I brought my laptop once again, <coughs> and I have this video. Now this isn't actually like uh, this is like from a YouTuber, but the okay. videos are so funny. Okay. And I thought it would be fun to talk about this. So okay, so I'm gonna yeah. turn this. Hey, look. <coughs> okay. Oh, I know this guy. He's so funny. Anyway, I don't, I don't know if you've seen this particular video, but I was dying. Gas station in the hood? Yeah, I guess, yeah. But they, yeah. there's a couple of people that do this. But anyway, watch the video. So we're going to start <clears throat> right now. The total's going to be 325. All right. Thanks, cutie pie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My boy. Bro, like, bro, you doing some weird shit, bro. <laughs> Cookie, give me a pink lighter for it, bro. Take that shit back. Bro. Hey, yo, chill, bro. Hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro. Yeah. Bro, fuck? All of this over a pink lighter. <laughs> he was eating him, like, super I late. I this part because he started bleeding. Oh. <laughs> to be honest, that was just straight instant karma. Just because I truly do believe that he wasn't even all mad. He just did it just to do it. You know? You have a blessed day. He had a cigarette in his mouth at the gas station. Why you give me a pink one? What you mean? I want the pink lighter. Why? What you mean? You got a, you got a, all them colors you got, you gave me pink? 
<laughs> What's wrong with this one, bro? Hell no. Nah. I don't want no pink lighter, man. What's wrong with this you one, got, bro? You got four different colors back then. You give me a pink lighter. My bad, my boy. Damn. Listen, though. It ain't real. Love, great. my boy. Uh. Yeah. Four, five. Are you have a blessed day? Let me give you a bag. What you doing with no fucking pink lighter? What you mean, bro? <laughs> Man, give me another lighter. I don't that fucking pink lighter. What's wrong with it, bro? <laughs> I ain't no fucking Geechee or nothing, dude. Give me, man, give me a lighter, bro. What? I'm saying, what's wrong with it? Bro, it works perfectly fine. Bro, let me see what I'm Come on, gang. Lighter, what you, what you yeah. do that for, bro? Man, I'm gonna buzz the fuck up in here if you don't give me a real lighter. I ain't no bitch. <laughs> you gonna give me no fucking blood? pink lighter. <laughs> but, uh, bro, all that. All right, you gotta give it to me so I can switch it out for you. I don't beat it enough to go grab that lighter, bro. Come on, bro. I can't. That's a loss right there. Hell no. Nah. I'm taking this for free. Now you're not. Come on, hey bro, don't do that, bro. <laughs> real lighter, man. Come on, bro, don't do that. Right. Hey yo. <laughs> oh. Anyway, <laughs> this guy's videos are so funny. There's one where he like calls like um, like he's it's something like calling like customers in the hood like fruity names. He's oh like, yeah, I seen that. Have a good day, sugar sweetie pie. pie. Yeah, sweetie yeah, pie. Like that. So funny, dude. Anyway, I don't know. I just thought this video was really funny because like. I, I would not react that way. Honestly, it's a lighter. Who cares what color it is? Yeah. I don't know. I think you would be like, I don't want no pink lighter. Me? Yeah. Me? Per no, I wouldn't I would care. You wouldn't? Real men wear pink. So this is the thing. This shows to me, uh, what do you call it? Toxic masculinity. I mean. It's really, no, you know, because no, like, you don't have to have a reaction like this. You don't have to start tearing up the gas station and stuff. Now, if, you, if someone came up to me and was like, you know, saying like really inappropriate thing, like calling me like, you know, sugar tits or something like then, I, <laughs> then I'd be pretty mad. But like, this is like, come on, it's, it's pink. You know, in the 1920s, little boys wore pink and little girls were like blue. You know what I mean? That's true. It's just, a, you know, it's, a, it's, it's very, it's a very fragile, very fragile masculinity. You know? Yeah, I, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Like, I guess I do agree that it is like a masculinity problem. Mm -hmm. But I also think it comes down to like their environment, how they were raised. You know what I mean? It doesn't make it right. From, from what I know, a lot of the people that are in his videos where he lives is mm -hmm. like, it's not necessarily. It looks like the hood. It's the hood. Yeah. It's not a good neighborhood. So, you know. Mm -hmm. They were probably raised, you know, like, you know, like on their toes at all times. You got to be a man, you know, like handle your shit. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just <laughs> think it's, it's, it's so stupid. Like, yeah, have that kind of reaction. You know but what I mean? I, I commend the YouTuber that does that. Oh, no, I would, that he, <laughs> he got, he's got balls. Forget about it. I, I would be afraid of getting blasted away. Commend him. Cause like, oh. I, I would not have the balls to do that, but there's this, there's this other YouTuber that like, he does these prank videos where he'll like walk around the hood and like say, you know, bat, like things that to purposely miss be misheard. I know what you're talking about. And goes around the <laughs> hood like that, like yeah. you know what I mean? And is, is, I, is he a Hispanic dude? Yeah. It's like, what am my boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then like, it's yeah, like yeah. he's like, Well, you wanna get you wanna get blasted, boy? Yeah. yeah and yeah. he like pulls out like, a drink called blast or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never, you could never pay me enough money to do it's that. That's crazy, dude. No, dude. I was like, I always looked at the comments and like there's actually a, a, a couple of videos where, where the guy will pull like the other person will pull out a knife or a knife gun, gun or something. Yeah. It's God, crazy. Dude, no. Yeah. No YouTube see, <laughs> no YouTube video is worth that. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly, I think that's really kind of stupid. I, you're like kind of playing with fire you're gonna get burnt eventually i'm surprised he hasn't i've seen videos where he gets beat up but oh, never yeah. like you know obviously he's not dead but like <laughs> i've seen videos where yeah. he comes really close to like getting like effed up i you mean know? You poke the bear i mean mm -hmm. what do you expect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i mean i thought about doing prank videos honestly i was talking so i went to namsa with my cousin right yeah and i had an idea because I was at I was there at night and it was raining and I was like you know what would be really 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 crazy what if I put on my you know my ghost costume yeah my go my white humbug with the long black <laughs> wig I think we talked about it oh I think I yeah we talked about it before but anyway yeah, yeah. I was like what if I just went up to Namsan at night and I stood there like off the path but Ooh, where it was visible you'll get people heart attacks I know that's why I'm afraid of I'm you know catch a case <laughs> you know but you know, I was like, I'd be like damn that would be really your funny tasty self oh, oh that would God. be funny oh look a six foot female ghost. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it'd be really funny, but then I was like, I don't know. I feel like I'm asking for it if I do that. Yeah, no, I would not do that. Nope. So for the next one, this one's a little bit not as funny, but it's gonna be something to talk about. I think. All right, let's see. Um, it. I have to find it somehow. Let's see it, little Joel boy. Although I must <clears> say, <throat> I'm not sure how to find it. And if you guys are wondering why I'm calling him boy, he hates it. Yeah. Uh, He's always like, I'm a man. Don't call me boy. 
So on a day to day, I'm always just like, "What's up, little boy? What up, Joel boy?" Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Help me find the folder that this is in. I don't know what folder you put it in, bro. <laughs> I don't know. It's not up. <laughs> Joel is new to uh, the Apple world, so. Make the switch. I'm regretting it already. Yes. <laughs> anyway. He had, he had to get the help with the PD real quick. But he got a, he found a folder okay. that he made. I don't know what's going on, but okay. Yeah. Anyway, so the second video that I have right here is something that is very, very, very recent. And I think, honestly, hilarious for many reasons. So check it out. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. This is video number two. I'm proud to be partnering with my very good friend, Lee Greenwood. Who doesn't love his song, God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our founding father documents. Yes, the Constitution, which I'm fighting for every single day, very hard to keep Americans protected. Also, the mm -hmm. Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Pledge of Allegiance are all part of this God bless the USA Bible. And it's just very important and very important to me. I want to have a lot of people have it. You have to have it for your heart, for your soul. God bless the USA Bible. Do you know what this Bible. is? No, what Did is you read this? about this? Okay, no. so obviously our <clears throat> ex-president, Donald Trump, yes. is being plagued with legal issues. Yes. Lately. And he now owes something to the tune of $500 million. Yeah, I saw. Yep. Uh, and he does not have the funds to do that. So, in a true Donald Trump fashion, he is now selling his own branded mm. version of the Holy Bible. Oh, God. Uh, somewhere to the tune of $59.99. Uh, $259? Fifty nine ninety nine. Oh, fifty nine. Oh, I think it's two hundred. Oh no, no, no. I was gonna say, Jesus, it's somewhere around there. Fifty nine, sixty. I don't know. I read it somewhere, but <laughs> anyway, the uh, man himself is selling the Bible. Can you believe that? <clears throat> God, you know honestly, I am not religious at all. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, I no. am not religious, but this seems really wrong to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> God bless the USA Bible. Is yeah, that that's what it's called. It? Jesus Christ. It's um, the God bless the USA Holy Bible. And why is it so special? He mentioned it because it has, get ready, the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> like, what is it? The Bill of Rights. The Constitution. The Constitution and uh, the Pledge of Allegiance for some reason. <laughs> it's not even that long. Oh, my God. Mm, make a buck. Listen, he's hustling. I can't even lie. I, he's a hustler. You know, he's a smart businessman. I mean, I ain't gonna buy it. And of course, like you know, he does have a following with him. He ha his con he knows what his constituency is. Yes, which is and they are gonna buy the Bible. You know, very <laughs> um, obviously, you know, more so right wing people right. that uh have a faith. So you know, That's get money, funny. bitch. <laughs> 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 Listen, I don't, I don't, I, can't, I I can't believe he's selling the Bible. That's crazy. He's got some some. He's got some cojones for this. I, I can't even lie. Because yeah. it takes a real type of person to slap your name on something like the Bible to sell it. <laughs> I'm surprised the church are like, like they haven't released a statement about this. Well, the church really, they have lots of offshoots of the church. So like, you know. Well, whether it be like the Vatican, you know, like the Catholic church or whatever. Like, I'm surprised like no one's. I mean, like, I don't know. It's the, I don't know. a statement about it. I mean, uh, there's a difference between Christianity and Catholicism. So it might be like, I don't know who has a. He can do whatever he wants. It's America. Land of the free. I mean, yeah. Land know. of the free. He can do whatever, mm -hmm. whatever he wants. But that that is like a little touchy, I feel um, like. You should see Reverend Al Sharpton go off on him. It's hilarious. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I, when, when was this? Recently? Like Two days ago. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. This is like this is honestly to me it's hilarious. Honestly, because I'm not religious, um, and I try I, I'm staying apolitical on this show. Yeah, yeah. But like to me it's funny. Like you know politics aside, him doing this is it's pretty funny. Yeah. Honestly, really funny to me. Yeah. Um, listen, he, you you've seen some of the like, he's you can put your name onto anything and trump does that he had water at one point he had an airline he has his hotels he has, a trump he has tower. Bu yeah buildings he, yeah. you know all this stuff and listen <clears throat> once again not religious but when you have someone like donald trump who is by no means a holy man 
I mean, but it's fitting because he is a god to his like you know like constituents. You know what I mean? He is a god to his. That constituents, is a that is a that right? is a that is a, a, a damn. Very, that is a very very hard line statement you're making right now. Well, he is a god to like <laughs> yeah, the people guess, that support yeah. him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they stormed the goddamn capital. What are you mm-hmm. talking about? So things a uh, list of unholy things <laughs> that he has done, and this is fact- factual. Um, first of all, very clearly cheated on his wife with Stormy Daniels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, also, for sure, totally curb stomped a bunch of people to get his business where it is now. Obviously, yeah, not literally curb stomped, <laughs> but I mean, right. like you know, like basically railroaded, you know, people to get yeah. what he wants in his business. I mean, that makes him like a smart businessman. Yeah, I mean, I mean like, you know, you, you got to be ruthless. You know, like I've watched interviews with Donald Trump. He's like, you want to be a successful business, you got to be a total killer. Not yep. literally, but like, you know, in like a business sense kind of way. And right. that is not a clean way of living. Let's be honest. More I mean, at, in yeah. terms of morals. But you do have to be like cutthroat. Yeah. You got to be like, cutthroat. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean? He's right. He's not wrong. But um, and of course, I mean, I guess you could say uh, documents allowed. Yeah, the document thing. Mm-hmm. That's more of a that's more of like a you know, legal thing than yeah, anything. Yeah. Um, and also, of course, the the, the January you know, resurrection, not resurrection, um, insurrection thing that happened yeah. a few years ago. I remember, you're the one that told me about it. it we, I was sleeping. I remember I called you or texted yeah. you. I was like, yo, are you I was sleeping this? downstairs and you were sleeping upstairs and you were like, oh my God, come up here, look at this. And then we, we were like watching TV at like three in the morning or something. And I'm like, we we're like, what the hell is going Everything was like on fire and like, it was crazy. Yep. But yeah. Civil war. Yeah, so um, <laughs> by no way, I don't know about you, but in no way am I endorsing this Holy Bible. Yeah, of I just not. I just thought it was really funny. Yeah, I mean, do you, Trump? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, listen, do what you got to do to pay off that five hundred million because God knows, you know what I mean. Yeah, he was also selling shoes recently. Was he? Yeah the the the, the Donald the Donald J Trump shoe. You don't know the big golden shoes that looks like a um a Converse. I had no idea. No, and it said like it was like all gold. It had like the the, the stars and stripes on the side. And he I only made, like, a pair of, like, 500 of them or something and, like, like sell them to people. Because, yeah. you know, like, sneakerheads. I'm not a sneakerhead by any means. I have a big hole in my shoe right now. Um, but, like, sneakerheads will pay out the ass for... Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I went to this one store in L.A. last time I went there. Yeah. And they were selling shoes that were, like, $6,000. Let me guess. Was it on Melrose? I don't know. But some of them were in boxes. But some of them were, like, wrapped in plastic. And there was like racks and racks, like they're all like hanged on the wall, like on displays, like limited edition Nikes. Yeah, like stuff like that. Yeah. And people, you know, even even here in Seoul, like when they do like releases for for sneakers, people wait in front like all day and all night. Yeah, which is crazy. I I would never, you know what I mean. I used to be kind of a sneakerhead back in the day, but mm-hmm. like when I was younger, like maybe like freshman year. So they buy them and then you don't wear them, and you like it's like investment because like they do like go shoot up in price. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. like. Once, like, you wait a few years and they're discontinued yeah. or whatever. Like Jordans. Jordans. Like, like Jordans, yep. Shout out to Shaq, who put out those the shoes in, like, Walmart or Target that look really cool, but they're really affordable and they're really cheap. Yeah, yeah. It's a real one. I like Shaq. Shaq's a good yeah. guy. I mean, if you're a sneakerhead and you can get those shoes, like, mm-hmm. get your hands on, like, them limited edition shoes, like, mm-hmm. it is lucrative. Mm-hmm. That's what Donald Trump, I think, was Just banking like, on. With the Bible. Everybody <laughs> wants the, the MAGA shoes, you know. But oh my God. anyway, Donald Trump, you know, you can Best park Best of luck it. to you, sir. You can park it. Where are you going to park? Park it back there. Yeah. Nobody cares. We come to the final part. Yes. Of this episode. And that the is. The news article. The news. Yes. And we love the news. And, you know, a lot, of, a lot of stuff has been happening. And this is one thing that I wanted to cover because we're both 90s babies. And I thought it would be really funny. And it's okay. impossible that you don't know. Okay. And that is searches at Sean Diddy Combs. Homes relate to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. Law enforcement say. Have you heard about this? I think you were telling me about it. Mm, okay. I saw so, it in the news, but I just don't know the details about it. Yeah. So basically, uh, search warrant activity at homes belonging to musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs on Monday is related to an ongoing sex trafficking investigation, a law enforcement source told CNN. The source would not specify whether Combs himself was the specific target, citing the sensitive nature of the investigation. Responding to reports of raids at homes belonging to Combs, the Department of Homeland Security, not even just the cops, Yeah. yeah. you know, um, <clears throat> Uh, investigations New York confirmed that it has executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation. Uh, yeah, so basically they said that it was a search warrant execution, which means that they had full legal ability to search his homes. Right. 
Puffy, what you doing? You so what, like, what, like, I don't understand like what he's doing exactly. Is he having prostitutes in his house? Or, so like, what's going from on? what I know was that Cassie, the sing, you know singer Cassie, yeah, yeah, who he was he was with before. Like I guess from what I know, he was she basically you know not sold him out, but like you know somehow it got out. I think through her that things were happening, mm-hmm. and according to this, that's sex trafficking, right? Jesus Christ, and. Uh, yeah, so they raided his house looking for. We, we actually don't know exactly. There's actually helicopter <clears throat> footage of his houses, and right. his his son was also put in handcuffs. He was not there. Okay. He actually took a plane to the Caribbean during all of this. Uh, and like I'm a '90s kid, right? Right. I love <laughs> Bad Boy Records. I love Notorious B.I.G. and and Mace and Puff Daddy and like yeah. all of those people. You know what I mean? But uh, I don't know. I always thought that he was onto some shady things. Puff Daddy. I mean, but like it's like it's like generally like I think it's general knowledge for people that like hip hop and like R and B, especially like the older like generation. Mm-hmm. Like it's like they know like like P Diddy's like never been like the mm-hmm. cleanest person. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's always dancing all in the videos. You yeah. know. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I I guess we just don't have enough details. We so don't we have to talk too much about it, but I feel like. But if, pe- it, if it gets big, it could be like another like just me being careful about Epstein's island. You know what I mean? It could be exactly like a situation like so. That. What, that's what people were saying because he is a very, very successful person. He's a power. He has Sean John. You know, Sean John was all that in the two thousands. We all know. Yep. Mm, Brandon Sai is big too. Sean John. Bad Boy Records. Uh, Bad Boy Records. And you know, he he was in uh, Get Him to the Greek, the movie. I love that movie. He had his show Making the Band. Making the Band. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, he's a, he's a mogul, right? He's like, he's like a, like a Jay-Z or like a, you know, like one of the big successful nineties artists that turned everything into like a brand. Yeah. And I don't know. Like I said, I always thought he was a little shifty. <clears throat> well, you know what I mean? And yeah. they, he, he fell out with Mace, the rapper Mace, because he wasn't giving him royalties and all this stuff. Cause he was a bad boy artist, like lots of shadiness, you know? Yeah. And I mean, some people think he killed Tupac, you know, but I mean, you know, uh, but you know, I don't know what to think with 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 old Puffy and what's going on with him. Yeah, everyone's every people are afraid of him because he's so influential and he's so powerful in the entertainment industry that like yep. I think <clears throat> if it is an Epstein or like a Harvey Weinstein or like one of these situations, situations yeah. people were probably way too scared to do it. But for some reason, it came out now. I guess it remains to be seen. But one thing I can say is that the Department of Homeland Security, like I said, not even local cop, like a police police department. It's the, the Department of Homeland Security who handles terrorism and stuff like that. Yeah. Like big ticket things. It, mu- it must be like a big issue. And if they had a search warrant that was executed legally, which the article says it did, that means... They have the evidence. They have evidence that is pretty concrete that he did that something's going on. Yeah. Something's you know, going on. Well, did I, did I, my New York accent just come out? Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I guess we just got to wait for uh, more news to come out mm. about it. And I'm actually very like curious as to what's going to happen. I'm following you. Listen, I, I could listen to, to can't stop, won't stop. And the, you know, more money, more money, more problems and all the stuff that Puffy did, you know, I'll be missing yeah. you, whatever, whatever. But uh, listen, I don't know. I'm, I'm very invested. I'm going to be yeah. watching. I hope that he's innocent. Just talking about the entertainment industry. I know you have another news article, but have you seen the new documentary about Nickelodeon? You know what? Screw the other news article. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. Uh, I haven't seen the whole thing, no. But I have seen certain clips, especially the ones relating to Amanda Bynes and Drake Bell. Yeah. Those two I've seen. I've seen a... I've watched all four episodes. It's, okay. It's pretty crazy. Mm. Yeah. Because we grew up watching those shows, you know what I mean? Like yeah. the Amanda Bynes show. It's all that. Yeah, it's all it's that. It's all that. We grew up watching Drake and Josh. Yeah, Drake and Josh. The you Amanda I mean? show. It's crazy, dude. Mm. You got to watch the full show. It's, it's I mean, pretty disgusting. I'm I mean, not even going to lie. Yeah, I mean, Drake Drake Bell literally said he was SA'd by his manager. Not his, his, his dialogue coach or like someone. Yeah, like but that. I think it, later on he became a manager, his manager, wasn't he? Or I think he tried like to that. He was a hire from Nickelodeon, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like Nickelodeon's hire. Yeah. And there's like a whole thing going on with Amanda Bynes, too, um, who used, used to be on. Do you know who that is? Yeah, yeah. Amanda Bynes. She used to have something called The Amanda Show. Bring in the dancing lobsters, you know. Yeah. But um, I think she had like a mental breakdown and she had like, what do you call it? Like bipolar issue. Like her, she just got all messed up mentally. During, I mean, I don't blame her after watching that documentary. Yeah, like, I mean, it's pretty creepy, dude. I don't know. I think it's insane. And I think it's sad because, you know, they say that you shouldn't, you know, you should be very careful when you put your kids in Hollywood. And there's a lot of people that are stage moms. 
You know mm-hmm. what I mean? They want their kids to be famous, to be rich and famous. And tons of them they, like, are. They groom their kids to yeah. like, become that. You know what I mean? And from what I know, Drake, Drake Bell's mom, or Drake Bell's dad told his mom to not let him be alone with that guy. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But his that's mom right. didn't care and let it happen anyway. And that's why he's all screwed up. And then, you know, Drake Bell had his own problems with the law. But, like, uh, that, that, that stems from, like, you know, that, yeah. that issues. Yeah, I think it's a lot of tra- like trauma kid. and stuff like yeah. that. That's why, like, I was just watching that. Like, I was like, if I ever have kids, like, I'm never going to let them get into, like, the entertainment industry. At least until they're adults. I mean, I would, I would, like, if they expressed interest in doing it, I think I would let them, but I would be very involved. Yeah. I would have to be. There's like no way that. You'd have to. Yeah. Like, well, actually, technically, well, I read this online. Technically, if you are under the age of 18 and your kids are on an official set, then your parents are legally obligated to be there. Yeah, but, like, the whole thing with Nickelodeon was, like, back in the day, like, those laws weren't mm-hmm. there at the time. So, like, they would just, the staff would have, like, a parent just not on set at all. Like, come pick your kid up later. You know what I mean? Like, we'll take care of them. Oh, man, the 90s were a wild time, weren't they? And, oh, you know, God. who would have thought this when we were watching, like, all that and, like, Keenan Kell and uh, like Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh. Like, who knew, and like, all, this, all this was going on? iCarly. Yeah. I, I never mm-hmm. got into iCarly because I was, like, I was a little too old for that show. But, I mean, yeah, I don't, it's it's insane. But I wonder if... Like, this sort of thing happens on all sets. You know what I mean? I think it happens more frequently than people think. Yeah, I think it's a lot of the time it's it's put under the rug. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean there there are, there's there's a reason why a lot of these child stars mm-hmm. later on when they become adults have issues. They struggle. You know what I mean? I mean, the, look, fa- the fame is also part of it. I think, uh-huh. but I think it's also just like inner trauma that they're going through that they've never talked to or expressed. Right. You know, being involved when you're a kid, like there was another, was the other show, a uh, star search or something like that, that all of our famous singers, mm-hmm. Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, all of them are from a show like, yeah, I mean, JJT's like still going strong, but yeah, I mean, but I mean, I mean, poor Britney, we know what went on with her, like she, like, conservatorship, yeah, or, conservatorship yeah. or guardian, guardianship, and then now she's in her kitchen spinning knives while she's dancing, like it's, yeah, with her dog, like swat, it's, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's pretty crazy, weird. you know, I, I like Britney Spears, I like JT, I like, you know, everybody, you know, but yeah. It's sad to see the legends fall. In just a way like just that. watching that documentary, I was just like, there needs to be more stringent laws yeah. for like child, I guess, mm-hmm. celebrities, yeah, actors, singers, whatever you want to call them. So we're hoping for a change. Hope I mean, I, for sure, this will bring attention. Yeah. It has already. That's all I, I've seen. Every, everyone's talking about it. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. So uh, we hope everybody gets better with you know the kid star thing. Yeah. And shame on you, Nickelodeon, for a lot of the things that happen. Serious, dude. They're even their statement is so blank and just like mm-hmm. so general. It's like, bro, never watching Nickelodeon again. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Well, that's what's happening today, Nickelodeon, and also uh, the other Puff thing Daddy. we talked about, Puff Daddy. <laughs> yes. Listen, we talked a lot today, but yeah, Aaron, take it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I guess it's time to wrap up episode three of the Korean Cowboys revamp season. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today. If you guys mm-hmm. did, leave us comments. Mm-hmm. And yeah, everyone, have a good week. Stay healthy. Um, stay positive. I Eat guess. your vegetables. Eat your vegetables. Multivitamins. Yes. yes. Mm. Eat your broccoli. <laughs> Probiotics for smooth movements. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, yeah. Uh, check us out next time. And if you're interested in more Korean Cowboys videos, look to the sides <laughs> of the end title card and you can watch more fascinating content. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Bye. All right, we're going to do a yeehaw, bro. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Yeehaw. yeehaw.